Hey everyone, it's Upside for Free, and this video is going to be part two to Art Pet Peeves. Last time I did part one and told you five of them, and now I'm going to tell you the other five. So yeah, if you can relate to any of these, or if you have some of your own Art Pet Peeves, please comment those down below in the comments. If you can't, please go over to my community tab. I will have this video there as well. So yeah. Okay, so let's get on with it. Okay, number six is when you have different art styles and you can't choose between your art styles. So you may be able to draw like anime or like wolves or like animals or like just have like a different art style and you can't choose which art style you want to do at that time. And you're just like, which art style should I do? Because some people have more than one or more than two different art styles and you just are like which one should I draw today? Hmm okay should I draw like a wolf style or should I draw in the LPS style that I always do? I'm gonna draw it in the LPS style. No but there's also the anime style. Okay I'm gonna draw it in the wolf style. No, but I also like the anime style. I don't know which style to draw it in. Ugh. I can't draw today. It's 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 too stressful. I have too many art styles. Ugh. Pet peeve number seven. When you haven't drawn for a while and then one day you decide to draw again. And you can't draw like you used to. It's like, where did my art skills go? Did they go out the window? This has literally been one of my struggles. That has happened a lot. If I haven't drawn for like two or three days and I go back to drawing, my art style is just gone. It's like, did it go out the window in the meantime? It's like, you can't draw every day. Sometimes you're busy and you just can't draw. And sometimes you have to take a break because your hand hurts or your wrist hurts. or And you take a break because you have other things to do in life. And it's just like, you come back, it's like... Did my art style, like, go away? <laughs> like, what happened? I've had this struggle so many times. Like, I had a good art style. Where did it go? Or I had, like, a good... Like, I can draw. And, like, a few days later, it's like, where did the drawing go? How can I not draw anymore? Where did my art style go? Like, hello, art style, where are you? <laughs> Artist skills, where did you go? Like... Art skills, where'd you go? Come back, please. I need you now. <laughs> the, the art struggle is very real. Okay, finally, I finished everything. I finished school and everything I needed to do. Now I can draw. I've had so much stuff going on, so I haven't been able to draw. Okay, let's see. Up. Uh, Up. Uh, um. Why does that look stupid? That looks uh, literally like a potato. That is not even, that's not even a circle. That's a, that's an oval. I know how to draw, let me, let me try again. I can't draw a circle. Where is my art skills? Where did they go? Well, let me, okay. Let me just tap the head as an oval. Let me see if I could draw a nose. That doesn't even look like a nose. Where is my art skills? I only, I didn't draw for like two weeks. Like, did they go away? I'm sorry, art skills. I couldn't draw for two weeks, but like, I give up. Like, I, I nope, nope, nope. I give up. Give up. Number eight, art block. This is literally the worst thing that exists. So this is similar to writer's block. If you don't know what writer's block is, writer's block is pretty much when you can't think of anything to write. Well, art block is almost the same way, but you can't think of anything to draw. So you are literally sitting there for like hours or even just minutes trying to think of something to draw and no inspiration is coming to your mind. It's like your mind just goes blank and it's like, hello, can I have any inspiration, please? Inspiration, where are you? It's like literally the worst thing. It's, it, it's the worst thing to exist for an artist. It's like, where, where does it go? Where does the art block go? Can I please not have art block? Like it's literally the worst thing that exists.
Okay, so I got my pencil, I got my paper, okay. Now I gotta think of what to draw. Hmm. 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 I really want to draw, but literally I have no... Like, I have insp- like, I have motivation to draw, but I literally have no idea what to draw. Like, I usually have inspiration by now, but... I have literally nothing. My mind is blank. Like, I have motivation now. I don't want to have to go and sit down and then by like 11 o'clock have inspiration and then ha have no motivation. Why is it that I get inspiration when I have absolutely no motivation? But when I have motivation, I literally have art block. This is literally art block. Come on, mind. Think of something, please. I will literally just scribble on the paper. Like, I need something. Literally, art block. Art block is just killing me. I'm dying. I'm dying slowly because of art block. Ugh. Number nine. When people over criticize your art, I will say this once and I will say it again. It is good to give criticism to an artist or a writer. Anybody who does art or anything like that should get criticism. You should, and criticism does help. It does. It's, it's, they're not trying to attack you. They're trying to tell you how to make your art better or more appealing to people. Like, a form of criticism could be, don't use so much color or use more color. Like, they're trying to give you tips of how to make your art better and those should be taken into account. These people are not trying to hate you. They are trying to tell you how your art could be a bit better, which is actually what artists should take into account and not get offended by. Now, people, there's another side of people who have to over analyze and over criticize which what over criticize means is they're like they give you things that you have to fix but absolutely no solutions or sometimes they'll give you solutions or sometimes they'll just tell you your whole entire art is bad they have to tell you every little small thing they don't like about it so they'll be like the eyes are bad the nose is bad everything about this is bad i hate it it's like Tell them what they can do to maybe fix it. Don't just say, the eyes are bad. You could be like, the eyes need a little work. Practice on eyes. Or you could say, like, the nose looks a bit weird. You could try, you know, working on a bit of, like, trying to practice sketching noses. Or if the colors are too bright, they could be like, you could use a bit more dull colors so it isn't so bright. But you can still have a bit of bright colors, but use a bit more like non-bright colors. If that makes sense, I hope that does. But a lot of people just want to over-criticize things or over-analyze art. And then you're pretty much bullying the person because you're over-criticizing them. And you're literally attacking the artist. And the artist is not there for you to attack. The artist is there to show off their work. And... You Criticism should be taken into account, but don't over-criticize everything an artist does. That's just rude. Okay, so I took a picture of it. Okay, let's caption it. This is the drawing that took me three days to draw. I hope you guys like it. Criticism will be taken into account. Post. Okay. Well, now I'm going to go get a shower and I'll come back and look. Okay. Time to go get a shower. <sighs> that shower was amazing. Okay, let's see. Okay, those are likes. Okay, let's see the comments. You could use less bright colors next time. Okay, yep. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you for the criticism. I will definitely try to use less bright colors. I will try to use some dull colors too, but I will also try to do like a light slash dark mixture. So I think that would be really cool. Uh, I hate this drawing. 
there's just so much wrong with it. The nose, the eyes, the ears, the mouth, just everything. Quit art. Okay, well that's over criticism. That is literally over criticizing my art. I am not gonna stop being an artist. I am always going to be an artist, but that is not criticism. That is not criticism, that is more like hate. And I would appreciate it if you tell me how I maybe could fix some of the art. Please give me solutions than just telling me to quit because telling me to quit is like the worst thing. Some people that you would have told that to would have actually quit. But I am actually trying my best to stay strong here and I'm trying my best to actually make art a career. So tell me solutions of how I could improve my art instead of coming to me and telling me the whole thing is disgusting. There. Well, I'm going to take a break from my phone and I'm going to go watch some TV. Last but not least, number 10. Okay, this goes more for traditional artists, like people that use pencils and like any art materials. It could go for like if you're if you do digital art and traditional art or if you did traditional art and then digital art. Any just anybody who's done traditional art with a pencil. When you can't find a pencil. This is a very big struggle for me because I do traditional art. I can't really do digital art. I can only draw on pencil and paper because I'm horrible at drawing on any device. But the struggle of trying to find a pencil, I swear, it's like you have a pencil. You had one like the other day and then you try to find it. And it's like, where did you go? It, it's like it happens when you want to draw the pencils just like yep i'm going to just leave it's like did the what took it did the did a ghost take the pencil did a did the fairy pen the, the, the pencil fairy come and take it like where did it go where did you go i need you and then you spend like hours trying to find it and then it's like it it shows up when you're not looking for it like the other day I was trying to find a pencil and I couldn't find the pencil. So then I went and got another pencil and sharpened it. And then, the, and then I couldn't find that pencil. And then I found the other pencil that I was looking for. I was like, this is ridiculous. I was looking for you. And then I had to sharpen another pencil and now I can't find that sharpened pencil. The struggle is real. <laughs> it's like, does a ghost or like a pencil fairy take it? Or like, where does it go in the meantime? Okay, I'm ready to draw. Paper, pencil. Pencil, okay. Um, is it over here? No, is it under the paper? No, is it under the table? No, okay. Let me go see if it's on my bed. Cause I was drawing there last night. It's not on my bed, it's not under the bed, it's not in the drawers. Uh, maybe it's in the kitchen. The other day I remember I had, I was writing down stuff in the kitchen. No, it's not in the fridge. No, it's not. Where could it have gone? I just had it. Pencil. Where did you go? Why is it always when I'm looking for something, it never appears, but when I'm not looking for it, it just appears? Maybe I should stop thinking about it. I had so much motivation to draw, but now I have none. Ugh, where did you go, pencil? <laughs> So yeah, that is it for Art Pet Peeves 2. I already did an Art Pet Peeves 1. I will put it down in the description for you guys to watch. And I had to do two parts to it because it was just going to be way too long if I did the video together. So yeah, and also why I did this is because I have seen people in the art community do like art struggles and art pet peeves. So I decided to do it for the LPS community because I haven't seen anybody do like art pet peeves in the LPS community and I know like some people in the LPS community draw their OCs or they draw like random LPS and I decided to see if anybody else has these struggles or like these pet peeves because I have these pet peeves, I definitely do. 
with our so yeah that is pretty much all oh also guys if you have any pet peeves like that i didn't mention in this video that you have please put those down in the comment section below or if you can relate to any of these please put that in the comment section as well if there is no comment section down there and please go over to my community tab because I know that YouTube's really weird with their comments and some videos have comments and some don't. So if there is comments down there, then you can comment down below. If you can't, then this video will be on my community tab so you guys can definitely comment over there. So that is all for this video. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and join the Werewolf Pack. And I will see you in the next video. Stay strong, Werewolves. Arr!